Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mortal Kombat 1 Online. A lot has happened since the last episode of this series, which admittedly has been quite a while. Uh, I don't know why I wasn't posting, I guess I was just playing other games. I was playing some Street Fighter Armored Core uh, offline, not on the channel, so I didn't really have time to play this game, but now we're back. And in this episode we are going to be checking out the ultimate low tier hero of Mortal Kombat 11, Sub-Zero. Now, I don't think I'm saying much of a like revelation when I say that I think most people agree that Sub-Zero is currently easily by far the worst character in this game. Um, he is, like I said, really the low tier hero. Um, to me, it seems like this guy is almost like a holdover from Mortal Kombat 11. Like, he feels like and does damage equivalent to what he did in MK11, but this is MK1, and even post-patch, uh, now that some of the top tiers have been nerfed a little bit, he's still easily the weakest. I think the issue with this guy was that um, he was really powerful in the first beta, uh, and I think NRS got scared and they patched him, because they were like seeing like 40-45% combos with this guy, what they didn't realize, what nobody really realized, is that everybody in this game can do 40 to 45% damage combos. The thing is, Sub-Zero was just the easiest to figure out and everybody played him in the beta. And I think, like I said, NRS got scared and they nerfed him a little bit. So now he's in like this weird place where he seems like he's like one patch ahead of everybody else, where he's playing like patch one point whatever, where the overall damage of characters was nerfed and like he's the only one that's there so yeah this guy ultimate low tier hero we're gonna get into his weaknesses but yeah let's talk about his strengths a little bit which let me tell you there are not many um he's still sub-zero i mean he has this low uh this is uh, not low sorry mid this is a pretty good forward advancing mid he can stagger it and then he can get like people with this um God, it's like e difficult to even talk about the positives of this character because he literally is that bad. Um, I guess he has like overheads and lows, not very good ones. I mean, this is his main low. Uh, it goes into a low low. You can, uh, not with this, but if you have a cameo that uh, has like a freeze you can go into a full combo. I'll explain why I'm choosing Sector for this guy, but yeah. If you have someone like Frost, you can do overhead and low combos. But you have, a, like I said, you have a pretty good mid. You still have some of the classics. You obviously have the Ice Ball. This is really good for trading with people uh, in like this mid range. Full screen, it doesn't really work because it's slower than any projectile in this game. So you see how slow it goes. The opponent can easily hit you and then still block by the time the ice ball reaches them. But, of course, if it does reach, it will do uh, pretty good damage. Uh, he also has this. This is another projectile, mid projectile, even though it's not full screen. Uh, you can sort of like pressure people with this. You still have the slide. The slide is still godlike for going under projectiles. It's just like reptile, you know, counter zoning. It's really fast. It's his armored wake up, which is you know, very helpful, and you know, he does have some stuff. Uh, his main combo starter is this move, if you're not using a cameo that can combo. Uh, normally this doesn't do damage, but what it does is it slows opponents, uh, but if you EX it, that's your main combo starter. And he does have overheads, so you can do stuff like this, you know, and then if your opponent is expecting that, you know, you can just go into the full combo and then hit them and all that. The Ice Clone is still around. Now we'll get into the Ice Clone where we get to the bad things about this character. But yeah, you can still throw this out. It comes out pretty quickly. And, you know, somebody's jumping at you. You do this. They are going to get frozen. So, you know, I'm like not saying this character doesn't have anything. But he is severely missing a lot of tools. So, I think I've about covered the positives of Sub-Zero, unfortunately. That's like about it. Like I said, this is really the ultimate low tier hero. I guess that's an advantage for him. If you want to like 
really feel like you're getting a, the best of your opponents online, uh, play this character because if you play him, you are not getting carried at all. And I mean at all. So let's talk about some of the weaknesses this character has. First of all, let's talk about his glitches. Uh, Sub-Zero easily was the glitchiest character uh, initially. Uh, this is the character where people discovered the one-player advantage that used to be in the game. Uh, this is the vector uh, because some he has like some trickier combos which just like straight up didn't work. Now that has been fixed. However, the latest patch broke his ice clone, his EX ice clone. This EX ice clone, if the opponent jumps into it from certain angles, it's supposed to like bounce them. Uh, it doesn't bounce them anymore. So yeah, that one is a little bit glitched. Uh, he has, I think, some other issues. But that's like the main one. He always seems to end up with some glitches. But yeah, negatives. Uh, this character is extremely negative. Talking about negatives. Um, this is his main overhead mix-up. Like I said, he does have an overhead mix-up. However, this move is negative 23. And it's an overhead high. First of all, you can easily see this coming. This is totally reactable. Uh, second of all, I mean, the second hit is a high, so opponents can duck it, and it's minus 23. If you hit your opponent with this, and they block it, you are absolutely screwed. The only option you have is to go into your cameo, but, you know, because it's like a very quick confirm, it's really difficult to, like, hit confirm this. So, believe me, if you go for the overhead and the opponent blocks it, you are 90% of the time screwed. He, like I said, doesn't have amazing strengths. He actually has very few strengths. While he does have built-in overheads, both of these strengths start out from a high. Even this move, this move is not the fastest either. And, you know, there is really only one thing you can do in the end there. So, yeah, his strings suck. His mix-ups are really bad. This move is his sweep. Look at the range. This has, like, no range on it. Uh... I will say he does have okay pokes, I will give him that, but yeah, this, a lot of his moves, especially this, sucks. There are so many characters in this game that have incredible overhead and low moves, Sub-Zero doesn't have any of that. I already started talking about the disadvantages of the Ice Ball. This is the probably the worst version of Ice Ball ever. Uh, it's almost impossible to combo. In fact, uh, don't quote me on this, but I think this is uncomboable. The non-EX version, definitely. No, even the EX version. So you're not going to be comboing Ice Ball off of anything. You are really banking on this getting a trade and then going into your actual like BMBs. So Ice Ball in this game is way worse. This doesn't do any damage. Even though this is your main combo tool, uh, in neutral, it's almost entirely useless. What else did I want to mention? There is just so much bad about this character. Oh yeah, the Ice Clone. The Ice Clone is worse than it's ever been. First of all, look at how long this lasts. It's nothing. This is nothing. Ice Clone completely loses its purpose as a defensive tool when it barely lasts for like two seconds. This is unbelievable. Like. The entire purpose and strength and the reason why Ice Clone was good in previous games is because you can turtle behind it, giving you like an actual threat. Opponents actually had to play around the Ice Ball. That doesn't exist anymore. The Ice Ball, you pop it out and like I said, unless there is a situation where your opponent is like rushing at you, you know, they're like dashing in or something uh, and you go for it, it has no purpose. Ice Clone has zero purpose in the neutral. And, add an insult to injury, because your Ice Ball sucks, you can't even, like I said, like, turtle behind it. Like, look at this. The Ice Clone doesn't even last long enough for me to be able to throw an Ice Ball out. It's unbelievable. This is so bad. It has no purpose in the corner. It's just the shittiest version of Ice Clone there has ever been. You also can't throw it. In previous games, you, you could throw your Ice Clone as a projectile. Compared to how he is in this game, compared to Grandmaster in MKX, it's like night and day. You know, MKX's version of Sub-Zero was a pretty good character, Grandmaster. 
and this is like an incredibly nerfed weak version of that character um, and a lot of that has to do with ice clone so as you can see essentially the issue with this character is that he doesn't really have anything so much of the cast has like strong overheads good strings high damage combos good cameo synergy good damage mix-ups good armor moves sub-zero is lacking any of that like i said he seems to be like coming from a completely different game and finally the last issue and perhaps the biggest issue this character's damage is awful and i mean truly 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 awful this character has easily the lowest base damage in the entire roster let me show you like a bmb this is essentially sub-zero's bmb combo um 310 and you'll see this no matter what i do no matter what route i take the damage is barely going to break the 300 mark i can do any ender 278 this character has the worst damage now i will say i should mention this character does have a more advanced version of his like basic strings the thing is that because i'm not a sub-zero main uh you know i can do them let me tr let me see if i can do them but i usually don't go for these uh most of the time but he does have a combo that does a little bit more damage oh shit anyways that's supposed to be like the route you go for this and it's supposed to refreeze and then you go for an ender that does like 340 but even still you know i'm not a sub-zero main i'm just trying the character this character's damage is trash it's trash i mean look at what you can get from your overhead awful like it, it's just terrible you can barely get anything off of your low and yeah your damage is going to be just the worst I think a lot of it has to do with just the scaling he has, which is very high. Um, like, look, the last few hits of that are barely dealing anything. And, you know, you might be thinking, oh, okay, I'll just go and pick cameo like Serena or Frost or something, and I'll solve the damage issue that way. Don't think that that's going to solve anything. Uh, if you pick a cameo like Frost, you'll get maybe like... A couple of points of extra damage so sure you have the advantage of being able to combo off of your low but you are not going to get barely any noticeable significant difference in your damage so yeah this character is just incredibly behind because even post patch there are characters in this game like Raiden and Baraka have been nerfed but they still do a ton of damage Johnny Cage still does a ton of damage even characters like you know like Ashra and all that do a ton of damage where they can hit you like maximum three times but most of the time like two and a half combos will kill you and this character needs four hits easily he's just so behind everybody else it's not even funny so yeah combine that with the fact that he is like you know he has trouble opening you up it's just awful this character poor sub-zero i think he's one of the worst he's ever been I know, I remember people were saying he's trash in MK9 as well, but this is like a whole different level compared to the meta of this game. It's crazy. Now, I will say cameo of choice. Uh, what I would suggest is to pick a cameo that can keep you safe. My preference is Sector, but I think Scorpion works equally well. In fact, you, you have the advantage with Scorpion of getting a little bit more damage because you can go for the upfire. That does net you a little bit more damage. However, I prefer Sector for giving you an actual decent projectile uh, with the rocket, giving you some extra ability to combo with the teleport. Uh, you can use the teleport in combos. You're not gonna get much from the mid, but you can. And you have the flamethrower, which, you know, gives you safety. So my cameo of choice is Sector, but, you know, even shit like this, because you can't hit or you can't cameo after the second hit, you basically gotta, like, 
react instantly and this is not something that's hit confirmable you know if this move actually had like some three hits or something it would be okay because you could go into sector if the opponent blocks and you can go into your combo if it hits but no you can't do that so you pretty much have to guess every single time so basically this and this are going to be your only sources of starting combos uh so yeah this guy is not in a good place like i said we'll see where nrs goes with the patching i think from what i'm seeing they are going to be nerfing more than buffing uh especially like seeing how the last patch the recent one went I think eventually characters are going to get normalized to Sub-Zero's level instead of Sub-Zero being buffed again, but you know, you never know what's going to happen. Um, really the biggest advantage this character confers is the moral superiority of sort of beating your opponent with a low tier hero, so you do have that as an advantage, but honestly not much else. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this character online and see what sort of matches we can find. You know, I just realized I'm barely Grandmaster 2, so... So this is going to be like... You know, I'm risking my rank for you people. I am really risking it, so... Luckily this guy is only champion, so I think we should be okay. We'll see what happens. I think this guy watched too much Sonic Fox. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this when I was talking with Nice. Nice block. When I was talking about the advantages of this character. You do have something going for you. Oh nice. Oh, that's pretty clever. You do have something going for you with this character that not a lot of people play him. Oh shit, okay. Please tell me that's gonna hit. Yes. That should that should be it, right? Thank fuck I can actually do super combos with this character. That's not gonna kill, is it? Oh my god, the damage. I did like four dashes there into a grab. Um, I should have just slid. Hey, I actually hit someone with an ice ball. Get into the corner. That is so difficult. That's the thing about rain. It's so difficult to see. Um, what he's doing. Uh, those two strings he has are just so similar. I'm gonna break that. Why am I not using the sector missile? I'm. Stop. Yeah, raw slide. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Oh my. <laughs> all right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, those two strings Rain has are so similar. Oh, that doesn't work either. I'm gonna go for some grabs here. He's gonna rake up. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why you get screwed if you... Uh, if your overhead is blocked. Okay. Oh my disconnection. What the hell is going on? This guy is on Wi Fi, but it was fine up to now. Unbelievable. Please tell me this is not going to be like this for the entire three games. I'm going to lose my shit if I. If, if it's going to be three games. I'm gonna lose my shit. 
please stabilize your Wi-Fi, bruh. I think I should be okay, though. Um, it's just rain stuff, you know. Respect to this guy, at least, for... Playing a, you know, less used character. I could have really screwed myself there. Jumped into the corner like an idiot. You can, if you get the... If you get just the right sort of timing, you can combo with the missile. Get into the corner. Okay, connection is back to normal, luckily. <laughs> I didn't know he said that. Sub-Zero is a dick in this game. Oh, input error. That was really strange. That was really strange. How did... That is... Okay, I'm calling bullshit out on that. Oh man, the damage. That was not a good break. Alright, sometimes you just gotta be aggressive. Um, one more, one more. They, uh, like I said, you do have a slight advantage that people don't really know what to do against this character. Um, like I said, he was mega popular. Easily, I think, the most popular character in the beta, but nobody plays him now. Oh yeah, that's like completely negating your, like, one of your best tools. I keep ducking because it's so hard to see which one he's going for. I do know that though. And you would think that, you know, having played Rain, I would know what to do, but I don't. That was a lucky save. Thank you, Sector. This is why I like having Sector. Did he give up? I think he gave up. Sorry, bro. You know, fix your Wi-Fi and then we can talk. Yep. Yeah, listen, I think what I would suggest is getting an Ethernet cable. That's what they're called. And they give you a wired connection and, you know... Things just work better. Um, that would be my action point for this guy right here. GG's nonetheless. GG's. We have a Sub-Zero mirror. Nice. Let's see who the ultimate Sub-Zero is. Me, not a Sub-Zero main, or this guy who is clearly a Sub-Zero main. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about his dive kick. He has a dive kick. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Look at the damage he does. Even with a double Serena combo. This character sucks so bad. I mean, normally I, I kind of hate mirror matches. Nice. But I don't mind it in this case. Uh, let's see who the... Superior Sub-Zero is. Nice Ice Clones. Maybe I can learn something from this guy. Mm. 
All right. He's got the good ice clone use. I'll I'll give it up. He's using it better than I am. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Nice. Nice block. Yeah, this guy is an actual Sub-Zero main, unlike yours truly. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. I'll try my best. This might be an L here, because... You know. But yeah, if I was like playing Reiko or something, like this character is screwed against someone like Reiko. Uh, you can throw like the shurikens out and it's just just goes crazy. But yeah, I completely forgot to talk about the dive kick. Yeah, you have this. Uh, and you can combo off of it, uh, but it sucks as well because it's really slow. Nice slide. Oh, wait, that that does damage? All right. I can't believe that hit me. like flying over each other's head let me just get one round off of this guy I swear I broke that all right all right Oh, he got the advanced combos. Nice. What the hell? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting absolutely destroyed here. This is clearly like... I think this is a perfect demonstration of sort of the difference of what I'm doing, which is just, you know, picking up a character, trying them for like 30 minutes and then going online versus someone who's like actually playing the character since day one. Obviously, you can't really compare the two. Um, you know, like how I am with Reptile or Reiko, obviously, that's like... It's like two very different things. I'm gonna try to at least get one game.
Oh shit. Is that unsafe? I didn't, I legit did not know that was unsafe. Oh, come on. He's gonna get me. Yeah. That's like, you know, maybe I'm like overselling or underselling that move looking at my gameplay because I keep getting hit by it, but that really is reactable, especially offline. I'm like really trying to get like around at least. Or a game. Or maybe all the games. See, I don't even know the timing to that. Oh, come on! No! Ah, I wanted to at least get around. I played terribly there, uh, but GG's. Of course, I would end up with a Sub-Zero mirror match. Like, But yeah, you know, at least you can see what the character does. Um, the only issue with him is obviously the fact that this is only flashy against another Sub-Zero. Like I said, if I was playing like an actual good character, like a Raiden or, well, anybody else, basically, uh, things would have looked very different. Uh, but yeah, that's going to like basically wrap up what Sub-Zero can do in this game. He is really bad. Uh, like I said, I did okay in the first game, obviously. I got schooled by a much better Sub-Zero in the second game. Fair enough, fair enough. But, you know... Not saying that he's completely useless, but you are going to struggle. You are going to have a much tougher time than if you were playing basically anybody else in the cast. He has some incredible hard counters. Uh, like I said, I think Reiko, Reptile. I think Reptile's force ball just straight up goes through the Ice Clone. It doesn't even care about it. Um, any of the top tiers basically just completely invalidate him. The Sub-Zero cameo Ice Shield completely invalidates him, so he just has a lot of counters and he struggles a lot, but maybe one day that's going to change. I don't know how. There's really only two ways. Either he's going to get buffed or everybody else is going to get nerfed to his level, which is the worst option because, you know, I do like, despite the fact that the combo damage and some things in this game are ridiculous, I do enjoy that at least there are lengthy and flashy and sort of even technical combos in this game. It's just the fact that Sub-Zero got the short end of the stick and he doesn't really have much of that. Um, he's usable, people are going to play him, people are going to win with him. I think that's been demonstrated, but yeah, currently he is easily the worst. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you did enjoy this episode covering Sub-Zero, do give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.